Hey everyone. I took a little nap, so now I have a little bit more energy. I was so tired before. Anyway, I uh, <coughs> I decided I was going to do this on electric. I'm going to do a song from by Robin Trower called Bridges Size. It's one of my favorite Robin Trower songs. I was originally thinking about doing it on electric because I don't. I just didn't know if I can make it sound decent on an acoustic. Well, I you know I I figured the song out. I uh, it's not a, a very difficult song. Of course, I'm not playing the soloing as well as Robin Trower because, well, he's Robin Trower and I'm not. <laughs> anyway, um, I it surprisingly it sounded okay on acoustic, <coughs> so I'm going to attempt it and. Um, You'll notice I'm not looking like above the camera because I know this song. I love this song so much. I already know all the lyrics. <laughs> I used to sing with the record all the time. Bridge of Size was, was the first Robin Trower album I ever owned. And Robin Trower was actually the first concert I ever went to go see in 1973. And a band called Wishbone Ash opened up for him. And uh, Wishbone Ash was, was good. I, I liked them, but I never really, you know kept following them too much but Robin Trower came on the stage and man he blew me away him with James Dewar on bass and Bill Lorden on drums oh my god they played pretty much the whole Robin Trower live album that's pretty much the show I saw I was it, it was unbelievable Alethea Bill Lorden the drum solo was amazing he did do Bridge of Size which is not on that album <laughs> But he played, and he played Day of the Eagle, which is also not on that album, not on the live album. Both of those are on Bridge of Size. I love Day of the Eagle too, but I don't think I could sing and play that at the same time. But we're going to try Bridge of Size. And I'm going to try it right now. You will notice at some points I do also, like I'll be playing like the bass part in there also, just to kind of fill things up. So since it's just me, and uh, that's it. Let's hope this goes well, and I don't have to do this too many times. keeping that one in. Let's try that again.
cold wind blows And God's looking down at anger on his poor child Why so That was Bridge of Size. Not perfect, but I don't think it was too bad, so I'm not going to redo it. I wish I could do Day of the Eagle, but I'll give you a little taste of it. Anyway, that's a taste of Day in the Eagle. Day of the Eagle. Living in the day of the eagle. Eagle, not the dove. I love that song. When he did it live, I was like, in, I was in awe. 
that was when I first started, you know, smoking things other than cigarettes. I think I was like 12, something like that. And uh, it was funny. I was sitting, it was on the side and it was up high. I think it was the green seats at the garden, which, you know, not the very, very top, but the section like just below that. And everybody, back then, everybody, it didn't matter if you had anything or not. Everybody passed everything around. You name it, it was going around. Nobody cared who took what. It it, it was amazing. And, uh, you know, lighters lit and held up high after every song. You know, that was the whole 70s. Basically, the whole decade was like that. So, you know, that was really the, the most stoned I've ever been in my life. And I'm sitting there in my seat. And mind you, I'm like on the side of the stage. And I'm looking like across and suddenly it was like the whole garden did this Whew. and now i'm looking straight down it was the weirdest experience i have ever had but wow uh you know i would smoke that stuff you know since then to this very day if well if i can afford it right now if somebody smokes it with me i smoke it but i can't afford to buy it yet but i'm hopeful that at some point once this whole crap is over that could have been avoided. Thank you, Mr. Trump. <laughs> I will, a friend of mine's going to get me a decent job. Something not in construction, which I've done for 40 years and can't do anymore. And uh, I'll have a decent job and I'll, I'll get new equipment and I'm going to get a car and I'm getting myself back up on stage. <laughs> and I talked to a very good friend of mine today. I haven't talked to him in over 30 years. We used to play together 35 years ago up in New York and... If things go right, he might be moving down here. And to me, that was a sign. I'm like, okay, this is a sign of things to come. We are definitely getting on stage when he comes down here. One of the greatest guitar players I've played with. My last guitar player is really good too. But but this guy, I turned this guy on to things like Robin Trower and stuff like that. And his playing improved 150%. I've never seen anything like it. So I was very, very happy he reached out to me today and we connected. We reconnected. We were on the phone for quite some time. He actually sent me one of his songs and uh, we'll see what happens with it. I, I thought it was a great thing. <laughs> All right, folks, I might be back. I'm thinking about covering, you won't believe this, a Judas Priest song, something off the British Steel album. I'm thinking very much about doing Breaking the Law on an acoustic. So... If I'm able to do it, I might break my fingers doing it, <laughs> but at least it won't be breaking the law. <laughs> All right, maybe I'll see you in a little while. If not, you'll definitely see me tomorrow. You know that. <laughs> Have a good one.